Well, as far as the hearing for tomorrow being postponed, uh, I read the same thing you did, that it was a scheduling problem, so uh, we'll see what happens from here. Uh, as for the hearing yesterday, listen, um, uh, Senator Lautenberg decided to set up a political ambush in Washington, D.C. for Bill Baroni, and obviously he didn't have his own house in order. I mean, for a guy to be sitting there complaining about um, the fairness of tolls, when he fed at the trough for 24 years, taking a, a multimillionaire, a guy who brags about how rich he is, couldn't go into his pocket to pay the tolls? Couldn't go into his pocket to pay for parking at Port Authority facilities? And that's the guy who's going to be the paragon of virtue, who's going to judge the Port Authority? And by the way, from 1978 to 1982, he helped to make this organization dysfunctional. He was a commissioner. And I'm sure there's many decisions he made, if he took the time to think about it, which added to the dysfunction of this agency. So I am absolutely thrilled that Bill Baroni went down there and defended himself and did not allow himself to be a victim of another one of Frank Lautenberg's, you know, thuggish political shows. Because um, that's what it was. You can see there was nobody else there. And I, why didn't he invite the executive director of the Port Authority, who's from New York, if he really wanted to get to the bottom of this? Why didn't he invite both of them? Why did he only invite Bill Baroni? And then, of course, when he's asked about patronage hiring, um, it's silliness to bring up his campaign staffer, who was hired as an energy specialist at the Port Authority by the McGreevy administration. That's silliness. And table tennis, I think he called it. Listen, Frank Lautenberg got caught yesterday with his hand in the cookie jar. That's what happened. It was an embarrassment. And his conduct yesterday is an embarrassment to this state and an embarrassment to the United States Senate. Um, and, you know, I'm glad that Bill stood up for himself. Anybody who watched Bill Baroni operate in this building as a state assemblyman, a state senator, knows that he's smart and he's prepared and he knows the facts. And I guess Senator Lautenberg didn't. So for a guy who was a, you know, toll scoff law for 24 years, um, who was, you know, allowing the public to pay his tolls. And I find it interesting, too, by the way, in 2005 and 2006, that he went over the Hudson River 284 times. Where was he going? I mean, he's supposed to be in Washington, too. So let's assume that he had some time in Washington during that period of time. Where is he going? That that's, comes to three or four days a week. He's going over the Hudson River. Where is he going? Like their restaurants that much better? I think he needs to answer that. Because he's supposed to be the senator from New Jersey. So what's he doing going over to the bridge or through the tunnel to New York three or four times a week for 2005 and 2006, I, I think his hearing was very useful, except not in the way that he suspected. I think it's raised so many questions about him that people here in New Jersey should start asking those questions of Frank Lautenberg. What, what was he doing going over the tunnel, or through the tunnel and over the bridge 284 times for free in 05 and 06? Was he ever in Washington? And when he wasn't in Washington, what was he doing in New York? Did he ever spend any time in New Jersey? Or were we just a pass-through between Washington and New York City? I think it raised a lot of questions. And I think Senator Lautenberg better stand up and start answering them.